Hi friends, this is Muhammad Jibran and welcome to our C tutorial series. In this series, we will walk through the language and show how to become a C programmer. Whenever necessary, the source code will be kept for download on our website, whose link will be given in description. So, what is C language? The C language was developed by Dennis Ritchie in 1972 at AT&T Bell Labs. He called his newly developed language C simply because there was a B programming language already and the B language led to the development of C language. C language is based on Algol and B language. If you learn C then you will be able to read and write code for large number of platforms. After C the jump to the object oriented programming languages such as C++ becomes much easier. C++ is an extension of C. It is nearly impossible to learn C++ without learning C first. C is a computer programming language which means that you can use C to create list of instructions for a computer to follow. C is one of the thousands of programming languages currently in use. C has been around for several decades and has won widespread acceptance because it gives programmers maximum control and efficiency. C is an easy language to learn. The C language is highly is high level programming language. The high level programming languages are closer to our human languages. A computer program written in a high level language such as C, Java or Perl is just a text file consisting of English like characters and words. We have to use some special programmers programs called compilers or interpreters to translate such a program into a machine readable code. That is the, the text format of all instruction written in a high level language has to be converted into the binary format. The code obtained after the translation is called binary code. Prior to the translation, a program in a text format is called source code. The smallest unit of the binary code is called a bit which can have a value of 0 or 1. 8 bits make up 1 byte and half byte or 4 bits is 1 nibble. In C language, you have to write some code to tell the computer what you want him to do. The code written by you is known as program. After writing your program, the next step is to compile your program. The code is compiled by using a compiler or interpreters. This is your program. First, you have to uh, compile your program. Then you have to link it to the libraries. Then you get a file with the extension .exe which runs the program. So let's start our coding in C language. First you need to download the compiler from our website. The link to the download is given in description. You have to register to get that link. Before downloading the compiler, first check whether your system is a 32 bit or 64 bit. If you don't know how to check it, let me show you how to do that. Select your computer, right click, select properties and see system type. It's, it says 64 bit. So mine is a 64 bit system. According to your system, select the, select the software and download it. When you click the link, you go to a page like this. Go down and select software and books. Here you have two options. Turbo C++ 32 bit, Turbo C++ 64 bit. According to your system, download your software and install it. When you install your software, you get a file like this. Okay. When you double click it, your program starts. So, let us work and well, let us start our first program. My system is a 30 uh, is a 64 bit so I'll work with a 64 bit software and you do according to US 64 and 34 32 bit softwares will be a bit different but they don't matter a lot select new and select the source file now we'll start with our first program which the program which nearly every programmer writes even I wrote that which is known as the hello world program. So let's begin it. Hash include dot h parenthesis. Now 
what I need want to do is just print a simple line saying hello world so for that I'll do this press F9 save it now run it see your programming is running fine but it just flickers you can't see if something is going on there or not so you have to write one more line I'll tell you why do we have to write this one see now your program is staying there for a while now you press any key and your program closes so this was one of the simplest program so when this program gets executed this program instructs the computer to print out the line whatever you said in this codes to print on the screen you can write whatever you want between these codes it won't give any error let us walk through this program and start what is happening actually in the program as I told you our program is this file so our compiler converts this file into a binary file like this this file is not at all understood by our system so you need to compile it and convert it into a binary file let us see how he does that our program start with starts with a line saying hash include conio.h so the meaning of co conio.h is it is the full form of conio.h is console input output standard console input output it is used to create text based user interface it has many functions such as get ch which we used over here which means which the program will wait until the user presses any key until the user until you don't press any key your program will stay that's what happened in our program before writing this line our program was executing properly but it were it was just flickering and going up in a fraction of second when we added this line our program stayed there for a while then there is another file stdo.h it is used for standard input output library to write something on your screen or to take any input from the user you need to use this header file these are extremely useful libraries C has a large number of standard libraries like stdo, string, type, math etc etc the library is simply a package of code that someone, el that someone else has written to make your life easier we'll discuss about all these libraries later on the line int main declares the main function every C program must have a function named main somewhere because in the from the program starts from the main function only then you have this parenthesis in C language the close opening and closing braces marks the beginning and end of a block of code in this case the block of code making up the main function contains only two lines one is this and second one is this now what you have is a printf function the printf statement in C allows you to send output to standard out for us this will be screen obviously the portion in quotes is called the formatting string uh, at, and it describes how the data is to be formatted when printed the format string can contain string lateral symbols whatever you want you can type anything between these codes and it will print let us see something else my first program press F9 see it works whatever you type between these lines will get executed without any problem I hope you understand our first program so let's see the highlights of the program your program has something a header file as studio.h which means standard input output library kunio.h means console input output int main 
the code starts from this only opening and calling uh, opening and closing braces means beginning and end of a block of code printf sends the output to the screen and get ch takes the character from keyboard to terminate the program this is what we understood till yet hope you understand how understand our program and you like the video thanks for watching guys